Here are the Facebook uh, share prices in this spreadsheet right here. Uh, so these are the prices, like $102.22 on the 4th of January 2016. So these dates are being displayed in the American fashion actually. So, uh, so that's like January the 4th, January the 5th, January the 6th and so on. And these are the prices in dollars, $102.22 and so on, day by day. Uh, what we want to do is to create a time series plot of these prices right here through 2016. So we will go to do this. We'll go. We'll put the the. Uh, we'll activate the the cell just beside the price data that we want to uh, plot. And we'll go to insert. And we're going to have a line chart. So we'll just click on the line chart like this, and just a straightforward line chart, two D line chart like that will do nicely. And you can see that what's popped up is pretty much exactly what we want. So here's the here's the, the line the time series plot with those prices over the year. Uh, it's identified automatically that the price is a reasonable title. It's drawn that from there. And then the dates have gone along the x-axis. All of those things don't need to be set up. We can just do a little bit of uh, customization of the graph. So I've just right-clicked on there, and I'm going to move it to a new sheet. Uh, and you don't need to do this, but um, I think it's better. So we'll go to the price like this. So here is our chart and we'll just do a couple of things to this. Um, notice the, uh, the the range of this vertical axis here starts at zero and goes up to 140 whereas the prices uh, are above well up 90 so. Uh, so in some circumstances and this is, and this is one of them it, it's kind of reasonable to change this um, axis just to give a better picture of the fluctuations of the the time series. It's not always the right thing to do, but in this case it's okay. Uh, it depends on the context. So uh, I've selected, so I've, just to be clear, I've clicked the axis, whoops, do it again, click the axis and now right click the axis. Okay, so first of all you select the axis and then right click it and then go to format axis and it's giving us all these options here. And in particular what we want to change is the minimum. Let's make it 80. Okay, so we're just going to display the results between 80 and up to 140 seems reasonable. Um, so I'll just press enter on that and that gives us a, a plot that I think we'd be happy with. The other thing again is that the um, the axis is uh, does not have a line. So let's add a line. We'll just go to the, uh, the axis options. So this brush here gives us the fill and line options and choose a solid line like that um, and that will do for the x-axis so we can see click away we now have a line over here and again just remove these if I click on the, uh, the the grid line okay so I've clicked on the grid line options there see how they've been selected the dots there uh, and we don't want any so we could delete or go no line and then we've lost those and that now if I click outside of the graph you can see our completed time series plot that's uh, that's looking quite good so we have the oh we should probably change the title shouldn't we to be a little bit more informative than simply the price we should say that these are Facebook share prices let's say measured in dollars like that we could even say they measured in US dollars, I guess, to be specific. And we're in Australia, those are US dollars. So put that in there as well if you like. And there is our completed time series plot.